Greetings, my friends, and welcome to Steampunk Cuff Bracelet. This is a really fun project you can modify in so many different ways. It doesn't really take a lot of stuff besides uh, the junk you've probably got laying around. That's what I use. Um, this is Sculpey Primo uh, Accents Clay in Bronze. It just makes a really pretty project. You can do a lot with it with the mica powders, make it look a lot of different ways. And I'm just preparing a strip, and this is the way I always make strips and sheets. Just like that, cut your package into three, put it in the clay machine. This is the number one or thickest setting, and I'm going to wrap it around this form. And this is one of the very, very rare occasions when I'm going to leave the form in. And you'll see why. This is kind of a layered piece, and um, the form gives it a lot of stability. Uh, you don't have to, but you can give it a try, see what you think. I'm going to wrap my strip around, bring it back down underneath. I don't need any adhesive because I'm going to make sure that I'm nice and secure on my edges and ends, and that it's smoothed out really nicely. And once I do that, I can um, add any of my little preliminary enhancements I want to make, because this is going to be baked two times. You know, I'll give you a lot of freedom to do two bakes because that way you can handle things, you know, your pieces a lot more easily when they're when they're already baked. This one's still raw though, and I'm going to add some little screws on the sides. So what I'm just going to do is um, take some bacon bond. I just stick my dish down there with a piece of clay so it doesn't flop around. And make these little balls. I'm going to make six of them, stick them on the ends, and I just poked a Phillips screwdriver down the center of them and uh, made them look kind of like screws. Uh, I'm going to bake that up uh, at 275 for 30 minutes just to give it some stability. Cool it off and I'm going to add the second part. That's uh, a strip that's textured and uh, that's a double thickness. So I made a strip again, cut it to about where I want it to go on the bracelet and stick it on there. You can use any texture. They all look really pretty on this project. Um, my swirls I've used so many times. That's by Amico, I believe. I'm sticking that double thickness strip on there. And you can adjust these sizes. We want a double thickness on this one so that we can stick our enhancements on there, our little metal pieces, and have them be really secure. So here's some mica powder. This is depth by Christy Friesen from her Metalicious collection and I just use it over and over again. Uh, depth, Glamour, um, there's a couple that you're going to really want to have. This is a really pretty one too and I put the dark on there to kind of dirty it up a little bit and then I went back in with that lighter color of uh, goldish to kind of make it, you know, sparkle here and there. Kind of give it a rubbed off effect. And once I've got that the way I want it, I can start adding my uh, metal bits. And this is how I do that. I just take a head pin and I make a bend in it. It could be an eye pin really because we're going to cut that part off. It doesn't matter. I've got these nice bronze or copper pins. Either one go fine in this. I'm going to start a hook and then pinch it kind of tight. And then I'll take this into a U shape. And what that's going to do is it's going to make kind of a, like a little hanging bracket that I can put whatever I want on. So I've got my round pliers and this is where the little U shape comes in. Makes a nice, nice curve in there. See that hook is what's going to keep it in the clay. And that's why we did this in two bakes. We've got one that's raw that we can work with. We've got one that's cooked, you know, that's, that's already hardened. I'm going to add my piece of chain to that hook. And that way I can embed it in the side and it will never, never come loose. I don't know about you, but when things break that I made, it just infuriates me. I just feel so silly, you know, to have gone to the time and trouble and have the person put it on and something falls on the floor, right? Anyway, so you take your hook and you stick it in the raw clay between the raw and the baked. And I like to kind of take a tool and make sure it's poked in there so that it's really secure and then the loop doesn't much show. Okay, there you go. And then bring your chain across if you want to do it like that. There's a million ways to do it. All kinds of chain you could use. So I made a hook on the other side and I just trimmed that chain off. 
Now I'm embedding some other things. These are um, just some watch parts I got from Christy Friesen also. And uh, I just make little nails out of head pins. Now those are too short to put a hook in, so if you're going to do that, you might want to uh, pull them back out afterwards and put a dot of super glue in them. Uh, now these eye screws are really nifty for hanging charms, so I've got a, a leaf and a couple keys. And as I said, these are strictly just things that are in my stash. You can use whatever you want to. You could make a whole different style and be hanging like little flowers or, you know, rhinestones or anything you want to on there. And I'm going to take that eye screw, I'm going to hang my little charm bundle on there. And that way I can stick the eye screw into the uh, raw clay also. So you go on that way, adding whatever you want to add. Anything that doesn't have a hook, you want to re-glue after it's baked. You also might want to add a little bit of clear coat to any of the exposed edges. Okay, And that way uh, your uh, mica powder won't all rub off. You just dab it on where it, where it's exposed, and you're really done. It's a really fun project. I'd love to see the style you make it in. Send me pictures at busypandora at gmail.com. And have fun with this project. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. See you next time. Bye-bye.